Hey guys, Terrence here. Today I decided to change the rear differential oil on my 2010 Dodge Ram 1500 truck. I want to show you guys why I decided to change it, offer some tips and recommendations for the oil I'll be using, and show you the exact tools I'll be using and the gasket maker glue I'll be using. So let's get started. Okay guys, the other day when I got home, I noticed my well, when it sat for about maybe overnight, I think the next morning I got up, I noticed there was um, an oil spot under my differential. My rear end differential was on the ground, right there was a small spot, and it was leaking, and it lets me know the the gasket glue I've used. I think I changed the rear end oil maybe fifty thousand miles ago, <laughs> or something like that. But the gasket glue kind of broke down on me but I bought some really good glue this time I don't have to worry about that problem but yeah I had a small little leak a drip I guess when it heated up you know it decided to leak out a little bit and as you can see it's I don't know if this has been a ongoing problem and I just not noticed it because just this wasn't like this at all and like I said it's a 2010 Dodge Ram it's an RT Ram, I don't think that matters, but I decided to change it. This is what I'll be using. Of course, I put the best of the best in my truck. I'm using some Max Gear, some Royal Purple. It's expensive. It's probably the most expensive gear on the market, or at least in the um, auto parts stores. But it's the 75 W1-140. It's the Max Gear. I'll also be adding additive in it. I don't really need this, but I'll be adding it anyway because this oil comes with a modifier additive so it takes about two and a half of these quarts or two and a quarter of these quarts so by me adding the additive I think that should make it but I'll see and um, I'll be also using some Optimum Permatex Optimum this is their new gasket maker and um, it's supposed to be extremely good I don't have to worry about no leaks anymore I'll have my torque wrench. I'll be using this requires these bolts require 30 foot pounds of torque upon tightening them up. But I'll be removing it with my Goodyear impact. I'll be using half inch sockets. 13 millimeter fits well, but half inch sockets fits perfect. It's a perfect fit. It's a half inch bolt. These are half inch bolts. So I would recommend using half inch sockets, impacts or just regular sockets. Half inch definitely because you don't have to worry about the bolt stripping out. 13, there's a tiny, tiny bit of play. But I'm definitely using half inch and I recommend half inch. And I recommend spending extra buck and getting some Max Gear Oil because it, this stuff lasts down. It don't break down. It's fully synthetic. Mobile One has some really, really good oil. I used to use that. That was the last thing I changed it. But now that I'm actually using motor oil, I mean Royal Purple motor oil, uh, I'll be installing Royal Purple gear oil in my differential. So I'm about to remove these bolts and I'll film as I go and show you guys exactly what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. So stay tuned. Okay guys, I'll be removing the bottom ones first. I'll leave those top two up top so I can use a flathead screwdriver, pry the bottom back, let the oil out. Some of the newer models comes with the drain plug. You have to take the thing off, but I need to take it off anyway because I have the leak. So it wouldn't matter if I had a drain plug or not because I have a small little leak. Using a half an inch. And my impact. Okay, I'll be removing. I need. My swivel to take these other ones out. But no biggie. Since I'm here, 
I will not be using this to tighten things up. I'll be using a regular ratchet and my torque wrench. I loosen them. I can actually screw them with my hand. I left them in so I can pry the cover back and let some of the oil drain out. I don't want it to splash down. I don't want to just pop out on me and splash down. So I pull it out some. My flathead screwdriver. I'm coming from the side. I don't want to be under here. So I'm going to come from the side. Wedge it up in here. I can I can could use a mallet with this and pop it, but I don't have a mallet under here, so I'll tap the bottom of the back of the screwdriver with my ratchet right, with my wrench. That's to break the seal. There we go. Just to break the seal. We in there. There go the stinking oil. Like I said, you want to break that seal from the side. Use a mallet or a hammer, tap the back of that screwdriver. And drain this mess out. Don't take long. Once it's fully drained, you can take the rest of the bolts out and remove the cover. out this oil stinks I hate gear oil and I've changed gear oil a million times and I cannot stand it <laughs> every time it gets worse to me sorry about the wind noise it's kind of windy out here today I'm also doing this because the weather is about to get crazy here in Chicago. Okay, I'm prying all the way around. I'm grabbing by the sides. I can lower it. Get it out of my way. It looks good. It's not too dirty. I'll clean it with some brake cleaner. So if you got some brake cleaner, clean it. Remove this, the oil fill plug, before you clean it with some brake cleaner or something. You don't want this to mess up. So I'll pry this out in a second. Flathead screwdriver. Work it around now. And pry that thing out. I'll go this way with it. It's out. I'm going to get this out of here before you clean it. Remove this drain plug before you clean this. You definitely don't want this to mess up. So, I'll clean it. 
You can use some sandpaper, some mild grit sandpaper, not nothing heavy. You don't want to kind of put grooves into the uh, housing because it won't seal correctly. But you want to use some mild grit sandpaper. I'm going to use my sander and sand this down perfect and remove this glue. Use a wire brush and get this clean. And I'll show you guys that as well. Hey guys, I'm in the process of cleaning the cover. I want to show you guys what I'm using. What, what gets this job done extremely fast. Um, this is probably the hardest part of changing this oil. Is making sure you get the uh, cover and the uh, uh, gear at the rear end itself. You want to get the you want to get it clean. You want to get the gasket uh, glue off of it, and you want to get the you want to get the gear residue. All the gear. Those are s small shards of metal um, inside of this pan. You can actually rub your finger on it, and it'll look like a greasy film. Um, but it's actually shards of metal, really um, small shards of metal that has kind of been um, mushed up through the gears. But you want to get it clean, so um, you can use brake cleaner. Use brake cleaner. This does a really good job. Or this gunk engine foam cleaner does a really good job. You have to let it sit for a while, but I'm going to show you guys what clean it super super fast um, and it also kind of breaks down the gasket the rubber gasket so you can just peel it right on off with the scraper like I'm doing right now but before I got through it this is working so fast I had to get my camera what removes it super fast is invest in a small can of starter fluid some ether you want this to remove it it'll help it'll break down this gasket this gasket will peel right off super easy with a scraper but it'll clean all the small shards of metal that's kind of stuck to this pan. That's exactly what this stuff is right here. Now watch this. I gotta get another can. Wasn't much in that can. Man, it only had a small bit in the, a small tiny bit in that can. So invest in a full can. It'll clean Look at that, wipes right out, super easy. Okay guys, I'm done. This is done. Hey guys, another thing I want to show you guys is if you take your scraper, you need a scraper, and scrape in the bottom of this. You see that? To scrape it out, because it won't come out. There's a lot of small metal flakes in there from the gears binding. Even though there's oil here, the gears Actually, wear out. All right, that appears to be everything. Okay, I'm back. Get my wire brush.
All right, guys, we're done. Let me get a rag and wipe this out. Okay, I'm back. These my rags look like some decent little clothing. They're sponsored by uh, somebody ship products. <laughs> I purchased an item from offline, and somebody actually used clothing as packing. I've never seen anything like it. It bothered me for a minute, but I laughed it off. I didn't write or say anything. But they use actual clothing. The clothing is packing. Some of the clothing was was some of the clothing was filthy and dingy. Some of it was clean. But it was just disgusting to see it, nonetheless. Okay, wiping everything off. All the gasket stuff that I got inside of here. This look like a nice little shirt, but somebody actually packed some product with this thing with a bunch of clothing. Some of it, most of it was filthy. See, look, it's pretty clean down in there. There's a magnet down in here to catch all of that stuff. All of those small shards of metal that this gear produces over time, over heavy use. I got it very, very clean inside of here now, guys. Very clean. So wipe it out. A lot of videos don't show this stuff, but I'm showing you guys in detail. Uh, how I do things, I try to do it to the very best of my ability, and if I can help, that's what I'm here for, spread the knowledge, okay guys, this thing is ready to go, it's ready for some gasket okay let me I don't know if you guys can see it but I'll get in there it's everything is very clean just from a wipeout so don't use solvents inside of this gearbox please just wipe it out look at that the gear looks super good and it's ready for some gasket makers it's ready to mount with the cover all right let me get the cover and I'll put the glue on and I'll be back shortly guys okay guys I'm about to apply the glue I'll show you how I do it All right, guys, this is it. Okay, guys, let's play the game of operation now. You don't want the glue to touch, I mean, you don't want the housing to touch anything. So you gotta ease it up. You gotta go slow. We're playing operation, guys. I'm using the back, I'm leaning it towards the back.
So far, so good. Okay. Now stick. Okay, I got it in place. Let's get some screws started. Okay guys, as far as tightening, there's no um, preferred method. You want to kind of go maybe side, 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 diagonal with the pattern when you tighten it down. With me, I'll kind of Go around. Okay, guys. Let's talk these boys down. 30 foot pounds. We're using the old school torque wrench. Okay guys, we're done with that. Um, another thing I recommend, I don't recommend plowing the fluid directly in right now, now that when you install the cover. I like to wait a couple hours before I install the fluid to make sure um, the gasket get a nice firm seal. But I don't install the fluid right away. So it's up to you guys, but just another recommendation for me. I'll wait for a couple hours before I install the fluid. And I'll show you guys, so I'll be back still. Okay, guys, I'm back. It's been about almost four hours since I installed the cover. Got my oil ready. Just got to cut the tops. Okay, I want to make some big cuts so it can pour in pretty fast. As you can see, it's raining. We're slowing down now. I want to get this. Be squeezing it in now. Until it. What you want to do is you want to fill it up until you see it come out the hole. This hole is actually purple. Raw purple has stuck with this signature purple colored fluids. It doesn't smell as strong as the other gear oil I've used, so I'm bending it. Sorry, I left my tripod in the house. Okay, let's get the other one in there. Like I said, it takes about two and a half quarts of these things. But I'm going to add a, some, uh, an additive in here and just see where it's at from now, just in case I have to go buy another. Um, quarter or so. I'll just have some for later. Let's 
still raining. We're drizzling. My legs are getting wet. So as you can see, that little drip coming from the drain um, hole. Um, that's how it should look when it gets full. You should see it kind of pouring out like that, and that's you know, kind of stop. So let me put the additive in, guys. Um, I'm not gonna film it. I'm actually, my feet and legs are actually getting soaking wet, and I'm gonna plug it up. But just wanted to show you guys um, how I changed the oil in my truck, the gear oil in my truck, and the. Uh, all I use. So, hope this video helped. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel. Got a ton of more videos that come on some of everything. And, um, just stay tuned. Thank you.